So earlier this morning, the contract information came out for Sammy Watkins and his one-year deal with the Packers. We already heard it was a one-year, $4 million contract, which honestly I think is a great move by the Packers, getting a pretty cheap value here for Sammy Watkins. But now I want to sort of look at the entire contract, what his cap hit is for the Packers coming into 2022, and then look at the remaining cap hit the Packers currently have after all the different moves they've made and sort of looking to see, you know, is there still some room that the Packers could you know, some salary cap room the Packers could use to potentially come in and sign, you know, another free agent sometime later in this offseason. So if we take a look right here at Sammy Watkins' contract, this is from OverTheCap.com. He is 29 years old, $1.12 million base salary, a prorated bonus of $350,000, a per-game roster bonus of $350,000, and his cap number is only $1,772,353. So only a $1.7 million cap hit for Sammy Watkins. So I think for the Packers to be able to bring in a guy like Sammy Watkins, where yes, he has some injury concerns. He's dealt with lots of injuries in the past and uh, he hasn't really produced at an elite level in the past few seasons. But I think for the Packers to be able to come in here when we know they need wide receiver help to sign a veteran like Sammy Watkins to only have to pay him, you know, or to only have a salary cap of 1.72 million Amazing move by Brian Gutekunst because, yes, of course, there is risk. There is the potential, the chance that he could miss time due to injury. But I think it's because of that risk the Packers are taking. They get a solid value here, and there's a chance I think that he really, really pays off coming into 2022 for the Packers after losing, of course, Devontae Adams. And if we take a look, too, at this contract, only $350,000 of this contract is guaranteed um, for Sammy Watkins. So he has a lot of incentives um, to basically play into to potentially get that contract to $4 million. And so now if we take a look at the Packers offense, their wide receiver situation, we of course lose Devontae Adams, but now we add back Sammy Watkins. So we got Sammy Watkins, Randall Cobb, Alan Lazard. And honestly, even if the Packers didn't come in here and draft any wide receivers in this draft, which honestly, there's like no chance they don't draft a receiver. I would be shocked if they don't draft two wide receivers in this draft. I honestly wouldn't be that worried. We have Aaron Rodgers. We have the best backfield in the NFL. We have a basically, you know, we can use Aaron Jones as a wide receiver. We got Sammy Watkins, Raynell Cobb, Al Lazar, Robert, Robert Tunyon coming back from injury. I think this Packers offense is going to be just fine. And now we add in the fact that the Packers will likely come in. Oops, I dropped that. The Packers will likely come in, draft a couple wide receivers who maybe will take a couple of years to develop, but who knows? Maybe they come, one of them comes in, can, can produce right away, maybe a... Traylon Burks, Chris Olave, you know, who knows exactly who the Packers are going to draft a wide receiver. So now the Packers offense is looking really, really good to me. And you add the fact that the Packers have been able to keep Rasul Douglas, Devondre Campbell, um, you know, signing Preston Smith. There's so many things to love about this Packers team. And I'm honestly liking the, the way that this Packers team is going. And we've seen in the past with Brian Gutekunst, his ability to find some value. Last year, finding Rasul Douglas, Devondre Campbell. Um, so I, I'm really excited about what the Packers are going to do coming to the future. But now I want to look at the Packers overall salary cap right now. So right now, after this Sammy Watkins contract, um, the Packers are $14,051,000 under the salary cap. Of course, we do have to factor in. It could cost around probably around $5 million to sign all these draft picks around another $3 million-ish for practice squad. So the Packers basically um, have somewhere between, what is that, like 5 to $7 million in salary cap once they do those draft picks, sign those draft picks, and also add to the practice squad. Um, so they still have a little bit of room to potentially add some other kind of free agent if they would like to. We also, too, have the possibility of the Packers coming in and extending Jair Alexander which could, you know, say which would save some more money if we did decide to extend him. We saw Brian Goodkins talk that the Packers and him have been in talks about a contract. We'll see if they're able to, um, you know, get that contract worked out before the season starts. So that way the Packers, you know, have some more room to potentially, you know, make moves, whether it's in the summer, whether it's during the uh, actual season. Because we saw last year during the season was when Brian Goodkins came in and added Russell Douglas. So, I think the Packers still have some room to make some moves. Will they make any more before the draft? I doubt it, but who knows? I wasn't sure if they were going to make any moves before the draft. And then, of course, they come in and uh, sign Sammy Watkins. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if they decide to add any other veteran free agents. There could be a couple other out, couple other free agents out there that the Packers, you know, sort of find for cheap. They probably want to keep some more cap space there to, you know, use during the season if there's certain injuries to come in, be able to sign some potentially cheap veteran players. So honestly, right now, I think the Packers are in a very, very good position. Only, what, nine days away now from the NFL draft. And we'll see who the Packers, you know, end up with. Probably wide receiver. I hope a wide receiver. Um, but we do have Sammy Watkins now. And I really like I really like the way the Packers are looking right now. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. And I'll see you guys next time.